This video is an exploration of the topic, solving a percent mixture problem using a system of linear equations. For this topic, it is important to be able to translate a word problem to mathematical equations. To make this process easier, we will learn how to use a table to help us organize the information and keep track of the variables. We will also learn how to use a graphing calculator to help us solve a system of linear equations. Let's get started. Here is the example we will do. A chemist has two solutions, which she has labeled solution A and solution B. Each contains salt. She knows that solution A is 30% salt and solution B is 80% salt. She wants to obtain 60 ounces of a mixture that is 75% salt. How many ounces of each solution should she use? So to summarize, we are given information about two salt solutions, and we need to use this information to determine how much salt of each solution we need to mix to create the third solution. You got it! To begin, we need to identify the variables. Let x be the amount of solution A that must be used, and y be the amount of solution B that must be used. We will use the following table to organize the given information. The first row is for important information about each solution. This box is for the amount of solution A that will need to be added to make the new mixture, which we do not know for now. We will put X for this box because we defined X as the amount of solution A that must be used to compose the new solution. What should be written in this box? I think that we should input Y for this box because solution B is different from solution A. That's correct. This box is the total amount of the two solutions mixed together. In the problem statement, it was given that the new solution will have a total volume of 60 ounces. Therefore, we can put 60 in this box. The second row is for the information about the percent salt in each solution. It was given that solution A is 30% salt. This box is the percent salt in solution B. It was given that solution B is 80% salt. What will be put in the last box in this row? There should be 75% in that box because the 60 ounce mixture should have 75% salt. The third row is for information about the amount of salt in ounces in each solution. We can calculate this by multiplying the amount of solution and percent salt together for each solution. For solution A, the amount of salt in the solution will be x times 30%. First, we must convert the percent to a decimal. Divide 30 by 100 and write 0 0.3. Now that we've converted to a decimal, we can now multiply it by x. And we can write in the box 0.3x. The amount of salt in solution B will be y times 80%. Converting this percentage to a decimal, we divide 80 by 100 and write 0 0.8. Multiplying this by y, we can input 0.8y for this box. For the new mixture, the amount of salt in the solution will be 60 ounces times 75%. 75% converted to a decimal is 0 0.75. Multiply 0 0.75 times 60 and write 45, which we can input into this box. Using the table, we can write out the system of linear equations from the first and third rows. Knowing that solutions A and B will be added to make the mixture, what are the equations? The amount of solution A added with the amount of solution B equals 60 ounces. So what equation represents that information? The equation should be x plus y equals 60. That's correct. What about the second equation? The amount of salt in solution A added with the amount of salt in solution B is 45 ounces. What equation represents that information? The next equation should be 0.3x plus 0.8y equals 45. That's correct. Now, we will use the Alex graphing calculator to solve the system of linear equations. The solution will be where the two lines intersect, right? Yes. Let's graph this system of equations. First, we need to algebraically solve both equations for y. Subtract x from both sides of the equation and write y equals 60 minus x. 
For the second equation, subtract 0.3x from both sides of the equation and write 0.8y equals 45 minus 0.3x. Divide both sides of the equation by 0.8 and write y equals 45 minus 0.3x all divided by 0.8. Now that we have solved both equations for y, we can go to the Alex graphing calculator. First, we'll click on the y equals button. Now we will enter the first equation as y1, and the second equation as y2. When entering the second equation, you must remember to put parentheses around the numerator. Now click the graph button. If the lines and their intersection do not appear, click Window. Then click Auto Scale. Then click OK. If that still doesn't work, try clicking Zoom. Click Zoom Out until you start to see the lines and the intersection. Then click OK. To find the point of intersection, we click Intersect. Then guess a point. Click Find Intersection. The two lines intersect at x equals 6 and y equals 54. Recall that x was defined as the amount of solution A that is added to create the new mixture, and y is the amount of solution B that is added to create the new mixture. So, the scientist must use 6 ounces from solution A and 54 ounces from solution B to create the new mixture.